So for a long time, learning institutions in Kenya have relied on wood fuel to prepare meals for their learners and staff. Continued reliance on wood fuel poses a risk to the environment as trees are cut to provide this fuel. It is this risk that two Kenyan entrepreneurs sought to address when they founded Adumu Stoves, a venture that makes biodiesel cookstoves targeting learning institutions in the country. Edward Chair tells us how these cookstoves have positively impacted some of the institutions that have adopted them. Sarabel School in Juja, Kiambu County, is home to at least 200 learners. The school is one of the institutions that have adopted clean cooking solutions to prepare meals for their learners. Sarabel Director Sarah Kinudia says this has transformed the school. Before I was using the jiko, which was using the firewood, and the firewood was very, very scarce. The new jiko, it's a bit uh, cheap. Be, and also it is very clean, the, now the food is not smelling the smoke. Then the children went at home and started talking about it with their parents. And then the parents started talking to the other parents. And through that jiko, I got so many children in our school. Jeremiah Mabiria and Victor Wanjohi, both with roots in the aviation industry, are the brains behind the Domo stoves, the supplier of the new biodiesel stove to Sarabel School. The problem that we chose to work on with my uh, co-founder, Victor Wanjohi, was uh, clean cooking. So Adumo designs and uh, produces cook stoves, mm -hmm. institutional cook stoves that run on biodiesel as a fuel because uh, it's more sustainable uh, and environmental. Not only to transform the school kitchen, but also the school playgrounds, increase the, 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 the air quality for the kids and ensure that they, they play in an environment where that is free of soot and free of particulate matter and smoke. Mabiria says they settled on biodiesel as the main source of energy for their stoves as it is made from waste material, a decision that provided them an opportunity to participate in waste management. Biodiesel is very energy dense. It's also sustainable and the feedstocks are for, to make it are available locally here in Kenya and they're also neglected. They don't have a use currently and they treat it as waste. So we saw a big opportunity to make fuel out of what is currently just being thrown away. Adumu Stoves has contracted Atsans in Thika who design and make the stoves. The duo particularly target learning institutions. Our stoves um, come in two pieces mainly. Um, there's the housing unit and then the burning unit um, we assemble ourselves. We designed it um, uh, ourselves and we buy the pieces and assemble them locally for the burning unit and then we mate them and uh, deliver them to institutions. So far, 10 schools have adopted their Domo stoves. Mabiria and Wanjoya to build this success to the efficiency the stoves offer to the target institutions. Currently the failed stove only achieves 40% uh, efficiency, but we achieve 95% combustion efficiency and, other, uh, and uh, a heat transfer of over 70% of the heat that is generated by a biodiesel burner. We're really focused on in-person interactions with the institutions. Because this is a new technology, we have found that we need to, to interact with the decision makers at the institution, as well as the users who are the staff in the kitchen. The jiko which I'm using, the firewood, I bought it at around 200,000. And also there was expenses of the firewood. Uh, every time I must buy the firewood of almost 50,000. But now this jiko is a bit cheaper. It is costing at around 177 shillings, and then it, we are not, it is not consuming a lot. While funding for such startups remains a challenge, Adumu Stoves now looks forward to making inroads in the country as its founders seek to provide clean cooking solutions for all learning institutions in Kenya. If you do have the right idea and you, you push and you work on it, there is people who are willing to work with you to bring it to, to reality. We have the capability of producing up to 60 stoves a month right now, and we are actually going to step up our production capacity. We are angling to have 500 stoves in operation by mid next year, and we're uh, by mid-2026, we're aiming to have 3,000 stoves in the market. Edward Chaya, Made in Kenya, Citizen TV.